Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to talk about how to get your number verified in high level if you live outside of the US. Let's dive in. Okay, so the reason we're putting this video together is we did one for peeps in the USA who were looking to get A2P verified, which was really, really tough, okay? There was a, a, a point in time there where um, the A2P rules came in and it was taking people, there was such a backlog, it was taking people months, complete nightmare. It seems like the UK and Europe and places outside of the US lag a little bit behind. It's only been recently that they made us do a regulatory bundle, which means that, um, well, it's basically the same thing, but a little less onerous. But it, unless you do this, you can't run traffic to a phone number, SMS. Super important to get this done. For those of you who know me by now, I, this is not the kind of stuff that I do. I'm not a techie person, but I've asked my guy, Graham, to help you. He's putting together a guide for you, and I'm gonna hand over to him now. Enjoy. Hey guys, uh, and welcome to this video on how to basically set up your regulatory bundles um, for UK, EU, uh, basically any other number that isn't the US. Um, if you're looking to set up your um, ver verification for the US number, which is the A2P 10 DLC registration, um, I'll pop a video just in the top um, right hand corner of uh, this video right now so you can go across to that one. Um, so you're in your sub account, um, you want to go to settings and you want to go to phone numbers. So I've already done my A2P 10 DLC uh, with, uh, for America, for my American number, that's done in the trust center. Um, here, um, so oh, I'll show you that. Come Anyway, um, we're going to go into here for the um, address bundle. So I'm just going to delete out this draft one. That's been done before. Uh, so you should basically look like this on your screen. Um, so I'm going to do it for obviously um, our company. So I'm going to go to create, and firstly, we'll, we want to create an address bundle first, and this is important to do this first, and you'll see why in a, in a minute. Um, so friendly name, we're just going to call it Flexible Address. That's our that's our company. I'm going to call it Flexible Limited. I'll just put in the, the the name that they give you there, the company name. Then you want to put in the address and the country is UK. East Sussex city is Hove. And this should pretty much get um, pop that in there. So the, you have to add something to every single line. Obviously, there's no address line two for us. I'm just going to pop that. So I'm going to press submit, um, and that should and that's already validated. So that's the first thing done. Very easy. Um, next bit uh, is a bit more tricky. So let's go to the regulatory bundle. Now, before uh, you want to do this. Um, Let's just go to UK quickly. So there's loads of countries you, you can do it for. If your country's not on the list, speak to high level about it and see what they can do for you. Um, so select end user type, normally it's a business. Um, if you're like a, kind of like a sole trader, then it would be an indiv individual. And we're looking for a mobile number here. So we're gonna press next. Now this is where you fill out the legal stuff basically. So it has to be all exactly as it's shown on the legal documentation. And what you need to ask your client for are the following. So we've, got, we've done the address bundle. Now you need the legal name, which is Flexible Limited, uh, company registration number, um, the website, the authorized representative first name, which is normally the CEO or the kind of like the director, authorized representative last name, authorized representative phone number, authorized representative um, email, and then comments, okay? Um, with the phone, it's very important to have the, the, your country code in front. It doesn't matter what country you're in, US, UK, whatever. Always put this, otherwise it won't recognise it and, it will, and you have to do it all over again and it's really annoying. Um, so let's go and fill this out. So so that's Flexible uh, Limited. I'm going to set the registration authority. So it's got the UK, US, Canada and Oz here. Um, if you're other, you will have to select other. But we're going to go with the UK. Um, then I'm just going to copy our company registration number uh, in there. Business website, www.flexible.com. That's Dan, wardrobe, phone number, uh, 
oh, one, two, seven, three. There we go. And work email. Cool, so you have to do all this before you buy a number, by the way, so don't try and buy a number first. And then comments, normally you just write something like, it's not as strict as A2P. Just got to just let them know what you're doing. So reactivating leads that have opted in to receive messages. And then press submit. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna to have to um, get a proof of address from the, um, the company. So whether that could be a utility bill with their address on it, addressed to the company that you've signed this up for, uh, it could be um, some sort of company filings, uh, some financial a financial document, anything that has their legal address on it um, and is a legal document, uh, that will be enough. So I'm just going to upload ours now. Uh, and then you just want to select the address, the address bundle that you've already done. So that's this address. And you want to press update documents. And once you've done that, you want to press submit. And then that will go into in review. Now this should go to validated um, pretty quickly. Um, so I will come back to this once that's done. So don't you can't buy a UK number until that's been validated. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to come back uh, when it's done. Cool. So as you can see, that's been approved. And you can see by the time it was extremely quick. I would say about two, three minutes. I can't remember what that time, time, time was on, but two or three minutes. It's been approved, the bundle. The address has been validated. So then we can go and get um, an, a UK number um, or whatever number that you've done it for. So we're going to add a phone number. I'm going to select UK. I'm going to filter by mobile. because That's all we want. Apply. And then we can just select anyone, doesn't really matter. Proceed to buy. And then what you need to do here is you need to attach the regulatory bundle that's just been approved. This will only show up once it's approved, so you can't do this before it's approved, but as I said, it shouldn't take too long. Select that, proceed to buy. And then your number should appear in here with KYC linked on it, like so. And that means that is ready to go and you can use it. All right. Thanks a lot for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Okay, thank you, Graham. So for those of you who haven't heard about what we do, I've got a book that's called The Instant AI Agency, and we approach um, partners. We don't call them clients. We approach partners and say, have you got any old leads? We can turn into sales using AI and SMS, and we do that on a performance basis, which means if you don't get paid, we don't get paid. Right? I call it the offer of the century, and we build a whole agency around it. It's called The Instant AI Agency because you can get up and running so quickly with this offer. There's a link in the description box below. Um, you're going to love it. Check it out. I'll speak to you soon.